Today I'm going to show you how to make spaghetti squash snacks. I always try to come up with a way to make a cup of noodles without the gluten noodles with the spaghetti noodles instead. And I've made four flavors here for you to see. I made saffron, spicy chili, Thai chili actually, my Thai chili, and cinnamon, and Italian. I mixed up the sauces, the marinades. And this one has a tablespoon of macadamia in that oil, which was given to me by a friend, a teaspoon of cayenne powder, and the juice of a lime. For both recipes, I used my fermented garlic. And I, uh, this is what I use when I don't have fresh, so I always keep that in the refrigerator. And I basically filled up this. So it's like two big ones or maybe three small ones for both recipes. So two for this and two for that. And for the Italian one, I use two tablespoons of oil and a teaspoon of basil and half a teaspoon of oregano and a half a teaspoon of crushed rosemary. And then I salted these and then you just sort of taste it until it's that's the salt that you taste. It's going to be a little bit salty because it's going to be spread out onto the uh, spaghetti squash. So we just let that set in mail a little bit. These have been marinating for about 10 minutes and it looks so yummy I can hardly keep from eating it out of the bowl. But I know that snacks are important. If you don't have healthy snacks around the house, your family members will find other things that are not so healthy to snack on. So I want to show you how to put them on the sheets because if you put them very thinly laid out like this, you'll get something that looks like this that really isn't very interesting to me anyway. Or if they're too thick, like where there's no holes here, like this, then you will get something that looks more like a potato chip, which maybe you might like to do that. But I like this more interesting look where you have a few holes in it and you get this beautiful snowflake, crispy, beautiful snack. So I'm going to put these on the tray here. So I'm going to put two because this is this is one per tray and this is the three I like putting two cups per tray so I'm going to just spread this all out on the tray and that's about two cups there I'm looking oh my gosh look at this lovely noodle oh my gosh <laughs> so <laughs> and I will get back to you after I have dehydrated these here's our cayenne spaghetti squash snack and I want to warn you do not use a teaspoon of cayenne powder. That is way too much. I love the spicy heat. That was way too much. Maybe start with a quarter of a teaspoon and work up from there. I'm going to have to bury this in some beans or something. <laughs> but in any case, this is what it is. And you just pull it up from the sheet like this. And you break off little pieces and put it in a container. See how crispy it is? And then you want to keep the air out of the container so that it will stay crispy. And then I made the uh, raw one. And here's as much as I could get out of the raw. I wasn't able to get all the meat out of it. So I'm going to have to boil some of this or, or steam it to get the rest out. This is what happens when you steam or bake. You can get every last piece of meat out of it. And I also like to save the seeds because they're so nutritious and you just uh, rinse them in the colander and then put them on one of the sheets because this was a raw batch I was able to I had the raw setting going anyway so I dried these on rice raw so they have all their nutrition still in them you can eat them the whole seed or you can crack them and eat just the inside this recipe here is a cinnamon recipe and I use a tablespoon of butter and a teaspoon of cinnamon and half a teaspoon of molasses. Now, I'll have the recipes on the website with a fourth a teaspoon of the <laughs> cayenne. So you can go to my website at dianalehua.com for more of these recipes. You might use a tablespoon of butter and a teaspoon of uh, cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of molasses. And I put that on the stove. I love these metal measuring cups because you can put them right on the stove and melt the butter and then I put that in the pot and the spaghetti squash 
and let it sit there for about five minutes or so, then put it on the tray. And this took about two days. The first day, it was chewy, but you might like it that way. It was kind of nice, but I wanted it crispy. So I let it go for two days. And there you have a healthy spaghetti squash snack.